When I fall in love, I get dizzy. I fall out there just a... Hey guys, so today I'm doing a pinup look and I decided to do this one today because I was feeling really inspired and I wanted to do something outside of my comfort zone so I thought, you know what, I haven't done a pinup look the whole three years I've been doing YouTube or almost four years I've been doing YouTube, I haven't done a pinup look so I thought I'd do one today and this is something that really... I just, you can tell I had a lot of fun doing this, especially because I went all out. Well, I'm not wearing a costume, but you know, I went out with a flower, I did my hair, and that's something that I typically don't do, but I felt like I should start doing this kind of tutorials for you guys more. They're a lot more fun because I have tons and tons of wearable different looks. So I hope you guys like it. I've used tons of different products. So pretty much the basics are framed, like really thick eyebrows. Or just really defined and you know a nice little arch here um, wispy lashes not full thick lashes nice and wispy a bright red red lip and soft pink blush even if you want to exaggerate a little that's still fine and I just did D Devontese's little mole here so yeah very soft shadows in the eye uh, not a lot of eyeliner at the bottom either yeah I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and I will talk to you guys later so I'm going to start off by taking my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC40 and I'm also taking my Sigma Synthetic Foundation Brush to apply it all over the face. So for the pinup look, you really want to have a flawless face. So this means concealing any dark circles or blemishes. This one I'm using is Dark Peach by Bobbi Brown. Can't regret my and here I'm just taking my beauty blender to even out my concealer. You really want to mattify your face, so I'm just taking my Afterglow uh, Mineral Powder and I'm just going to buff it in with my Sonia Kashuk brush. So here I'm going back to the same powder and I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just going to set the concealer looking up so I don't set any lines. So to begin with the eyes, I'm taking Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelids. So next I'm taking the highlight and I'm applying that right underneath the eyebrow. So next you want to give your eyes some depth and for this I'm taking a soft matte brown and applying that to the crease and brow bone. So for this part, you want to take the darkest brown that you have and fill in your eyebrows, giving them a nice arch. So to create the classic pinup winged liner, I'm taking my Bent Sonia Kashuk brush and my Clinique eyeliner in black. And you really want to make sure you really give it a nice pointy edge at the end. Next, you want to avoid lining the waterline, and for this, I'm just taking Max Eye Colon Smolder and lining the lash line. Here, I'm taking Cheekers by CoverGirl, and it's a really pretty pink blush, and you just want to apply this to the apples of your cheeks. So, next, I'm taking these wispy lashes just to give my eyes a little bit more fullness. So next I'm taking my Crimson Revlon Red Lipstick and I'm just going to take a Filbert Number no. 2 painting brush to apply this. So pinups usually have matte lips, but I'm going to take it up a step and add some red gloss. And last but not least, I'm just going to add a mole like D. Devontese using a liquid liner. A 
here we have the final look. I went and just did my bangs. My hair is just in a bun, but I wanted to do my bangs. You could either do a bandana or you can do a flower on the side. I felt like a flower was more my style, really. Eyes. The cheeks. Bright red lips. The hair. And the whole nine yards. I had such a hard time with these little curls. They're already falling apart. <laughs> but whatever i'm just gonna jump in the shower and go to bed already so thanks for watching i'll cover this and i will talk to you guys later